All right, YouTube, House of Champions, Zach S here with Drake Albert, and tell us what you just did. Uh, I got second place, uh, got my first ever top eight and invite. At the Tulsa Regional. With the uh, Phantom Knights. Nice, let's go into the deck. Okay, uh, I played one mathematician, sadly. Best card to open ever, I love them. Uh, three Ancient Cloak, uh, three Boots, and then uh, three Gloves, you know, the basic lineup. You gotta play them. Pretty. Best cards ever. I wouldn't change a single thing about the that lineup. Nice, nice. Um, <laughs> triple Terror Top. Uh, uh, double Tekkenberg. This is the best opening combo I've ever had. Like any deck. It's, it's insane. And then a one try I dice. Mill it. It's a ne it's a Necro Gardener. It's also a Synchro. So you can also search. So you can go special, special. If you like have this in hand, then normal summons for Trish. Oh, nice. So it's it's really nice. Yeah, it's a level manipulator too, right? Uh, no, that's the other one. This oh, one's the other one. This one's just a Necro Gardener and a Tuner. Okay. So then I played uh, two Ghost Ogres, MVPs of the day. Like this card fucked shit up today. I loved it. <laughs> Against pendulums. And oh stuff. yeah, like I would go. Uh, they go ten can. I'd be like bye. Bye. I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna man. make you run. And so then, like when my turn came around, I just had to, you know, system down. I, I wasn't, I didn't have to bait anything out. It, just, it was just there. Uh, one blue layer. It's, it's amazing. Even when opening it, it's not really that bad. I was a little afraid of it, but it wasn't that bad. And then Maxi milled this card all day. Really. You milled it all day. <laughs> milled it all day. I wish I saw it, but no, just mills. It doesn't happen every time, no, right? I think I opened with it once. Oh, that's out of real. Eight I like rounds. that. <laughs> Itali's card. God tier in the deck. Uh, three twin twisters. It's, yeah, it's, it's free for, in the free, deck. It's free. Free destruction. It's free destruction. It's free destruction, right? <laughs> and then the one ups I play are Rhoda, uh, Foolish Burial, Dark Hole, Regeki, and then Soul Charge. Nice. Like, I built this deck to go second and just blow shit up. And if I have to go first, I love opening this because I'll make, I'll Trish, I'll, I'll, just, I'll make as much shit as I can. Just pray out they can't break it. Typically, they can't. This card is the best card ever, especially when, like, top decking. It's like, Soul Charge? Cool. How many life points I got? <laughs> as many as I want. Uh, three Fuck Blade. Of course. Uh, three Wings. And then one Sword. Love this lineup. It's perfect. And then one Solemn and one Strike. Would you change anything else to the main deck? Or no, keep it the same? It's, it's a perfect 42 cards. Like, it's perfect. perfect. Uh, Solemn Strike. Milled it all day. Cards <laughs> trash. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Alright, let's go into the side next. Uh, which one are you going to do first? Uh, it's up to you. We'll do side. So. Triple Drone Lock. Yeah, let's take care of that FTK. That, Mermels, Pepe, anything that plays Upstart. <laughs> Just anything. Uh, two Shared Rider. Favorite card. Man, this card put it What did you side it against? Um, Pepe, I sided against my Teller's matchup. Uh, it was the first card I touched when playing Mermels. I heard, I heard, like, he summoned, the, he summoned a card and I was just like, oh, I know what's coming in first. Like, this card is amazing. It's like a plus six, like, every time I played against Mermels. It's, it's crazy. Um, then I got Triple System Down. It's tech next to OTK, and I'm not, I, I'm not gonna mess with destroyers today. So I banish him away. I'll bait him out and just sit him down and just push it. I'm going for the game as fast as possible. It's an amazing card though. It's ridiculous. Three anti spell. Ready for them, Pepe? Uh, didn't play a single one. <laughs> I went eight rounds of no. That was like all PK and BA here it, today. No, it was yeah. all monarchs. I played oh, you played monarchs all day. Three oh, wow. for monarchs, and then uh, I think a kaiju. A uh, Tellers and a Mermel and a BA. Oh, and a BA, yeah. So, yeah, it was really bad. A lot of. So, I didn't see any Draco Pals. It was ridiculous. And then, of course, for all my Monarch matchups, two Mask Restrict. Milled them every time. <laughs> Put in so much work. I loved it. I loved milling them, and they're like, oh man, you're. And they got all cocky. <laughs> um, the one of Magic Deflector, I got here. Had, I thought my deck was completely done. I had 12 cards in my side deck. Freaked out. So, threw this in last second. And it won me like two or three games against. Oh, this card is very, it's very good. Just turn off domain and just yep, push and go in, for like, it. Do not stop. I think it's better than mask against them in the fact that it flows I think and, it and is, can disrupt like, their turn if they do. Yeah, like, and they can't twin twister, and I'll chain it. And like if they go to twin twister and then try to push, I'll just chain it. Yeah, and then, it's, it, and then it stops their push. And then their domain and their uh, uh, <laughs> what is it, march or whatever? Yeah, the one that searches. Uh, return of the return march, yeah. is off for the turn as well. And then twin twister doesn't work, so I can't blow up my other stuff. So this card. Puts in a lot of work. And then my one of that I wish I had more of, 
for Mission from the Gnomes. This for card is god tier. Like, pick up this card. This card's amazing. Especially for, like, in, like PK and stuff. You can mill it and not minus because it can banish itself from the grave whenever you want to lower all your opponent's levels by one. So you can stop whatever they have to stop. So they go Terror Top, Tankenberg, and you go banish at level twos. Their turn's over and you can just go in. Nice. It's nice. The best card ever. I was only able to pick up one before the regional. Um, I wish I had more, but <laughs> best card right here. All right, let's go into the extra now. I don't know. Okay. Got three break sword. This card's Necessary. amazing. Yeah. It's the best card ever. Actually, typically only made like one per game. Really, like it's it's. Would you still play three of them, or? I could actually cut it down to two, maybe even one. Like if I had, if it got hit, I wouldn't be scared. Like I only really make one or two per game. It's make it's mainly Dante and like Levier. It's, like, it's a great card, but. It's not as needed as everything else. Maybe it's me, but like I'd rather go into everything else, and make more more combo pieces, make more monsters than just blowing up something. Because nobody plays like Mirror Force or anything, so it's just it's just so easy to put more damage on. Yeah. Uh, double Dante. Oh, and onto the extra deck. Triple Break Sword. Like this card's great, but I rarely went into it. It's maybe like a one of, honestly, two of at max. This card can get hit, and I wouldn't care. Like, yeah, yeah. And you said you might take some of them out, or yeah, take one of them out for something else. Dante. Uh, if anything, I'd bump this down to two and bump this back up to three. Did you ever need the third one? Um, a couple times. Uh, I never played BA when like it was a thing, so I uh, was constantly missing the Dante return, the other Dante. <laughs> and oh, so yeah. I was constantly just like, man, I wish I had a Dante, and they're both just sitting in grave because I fucking I messed up. But, eh. I still, I, mean, I got some worse. I got second place, so it's, I guess it worked. <laughs> uh, Levier. This card's a monster. There's so many free combos, free combos for days with this card. Especially since it's a win, and you can special summon Takenberg while it's on the board. So you can, like, special, normal, overlay, attach, uh, special summon another thing back, special summon Takenberg, another da uh, Dante, and just keep going. Like, I would try to m make it, like, at least, like, three or four XYZs in one turn, like, every time. That's what I would go for. Um, F0. I'd love to bump this guy up to two. Like, this is the best card. MVP. Against Cosmo, especially. Monarchs, really. Monarchs? Yeah, I, I took so many, like, Aethers and Erebuses and just beat him over the head with it. Because <laughs> I couldn't get over their monsters because the domain was out. But, like, I just made this. I'm not sure to fuck with the domain. Make this and just go, take, hit, take, hit, take, hit. <laughs> another one. Was, yeah, another one. Just another one. And, like, this guy scooped because he was just like, I can't get over it. Because I would just fog blade, and then I'd pop the fog blade, and, like, take hit, take hit again. His Erebus were useless. It was, it was great. This is Literally disgusting. Won, won a lot of games today. Then we got Nightmare Shark for time. Never went into him. Grand Pulse. Never went into it. I mean, they're there. They're there for safety, I guess, but I never went into them. Uh, and then the rank fours, I got Nightmare. Uh, I never went into it because I never played Pepe, but this card's amazing. Thanatos, I went into it immediately when I played my one Cosmo matchup. This card's like amazing. Daring me to play a turn, it can make itself unaffected by uh, mon other monster effects. And like with glue, with uh, gloves, he can be 33, 50, and just runs over everything Cosmo have. It's just it's it's an auto win sometimes. And then Dark Rebellion for just extra pushes for damage sometimes. Um, that's the rank four lineup. The last two are synchros. We got Stardust Charge Warrior. I'm sure I'm gonna have to explain what this does. Uh, when you synchro summon it, you draw a card, and then it can uh, attack all your opponent's special summon monsters once each. So you like put a break sword, or you put like a sword or like a wings on this guy, and just run over everything they have. And then go in with like Dante and Dante and break sword. Oh, disgusting! Yeah, this card's amazing. Like I literally had I put swords, I put swords and wings on this guy, and I literally attacked over like three monsters and just went Dante Dante break sword for game. <laughs> it was ridiculous. This guy was at 33. I was like, Ugh. I just kill everything. Yeah. And Last then, one. Best card of the day, Trish. This game, this card alone won so many matchups for me. Like nearly all of them. It's all because of this guy. He let me loan. Let me borrow his Trish. This Trish. Literally got me this top eight. This like, specific Trish. Yeah, this okay. one. Just, just Trish in general. Like that card is amazing. Like it's so easy to go to with Ghost Ogres and stuff. Like I normal summoned and this guy went flying C and I was like, cool. You tell you for Ghost Ogres, synchro and Trish. And I was like, take a card out of your hand, banish that card on your field, and get rid of uh, one of your cards in grave. And then I just went summon, summon Dante and just went off on him. It was, oh, yeah, it was dirty as hell. Yeah, this card, MVP. It's amazing. Alright, any shout outs? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy Patrick, uh, Mark and Donnie, give a shout out to uh, Denny for letting me borrow his Trish, uh, Jacob and Chase, Kyle, 
guy like senpai to me. Like this guy like literally, I probably wouldn't have won today if he didn't like. He gave me like some great advice and like just you know how to play really today. Like it was just amazing advice. Clearly, I got second place, but without him, I don't. I have. I'm 100 percent sure I would not have made it here today. Like shout out to Kyle. So. Oh, that's sweet. Anything else? Um, this deck is busted. It's too, too many free, free XYZs. Yeah. It's too good. All right. Well, congratulations, man. And thanks for letting me have you on here. No problem, man. Anytime. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll take that.